Hello everybody, welcome to the Sound Test June. I'm so excited. I can barely contain myself. Uh, so, uh, Groove Maker now allows me to input my uh, synth notes with my MIDI keyboard. Which is brilliant uh, because uh, for people who like to would rather play their uh, MIDI controllers than the actual screen, this is this is revolutionary because you get to use all the very cool equipment inside Groovebox in your own thing. So we're just going to have a play. So I mean, it's very very responsive. You can hear. Um, got cables, cables. So it's very cool. And of course, as normal, you set your uh, the length of your pattern here. Um, if you want it to be, you know, double uh, minus the, uh, you know, the two bars or four bars. I've got this set on uh, four bars. So the next, next, excuse me, next click on that would be eight bars. And then another click on this one would be zero bars. And then this would completely set a new pattern up. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play a pattern in. So let's start this off. This little drum pattern here, and let's make sure our, our record is armed. Wait. Done deal. And then uh, what I could I could do is is then overdub that if I wanted to. Now, here's the thing. Let's stop this for now. When we add another track inside, um, inside Groovebox, it automatically generates a pattern for you. So it would get it would get a bit confusing. So for instance, it would do this. If it was playing and I generate a retro bass. let's load that anyway and then delete the pattern but what I would I would suggest is once you just stop that what I would suggest is if you want to load another one have it it looks like it just started off anyway but load it in and um, find the sound that you like or mute the ones that you like for instance this do that mute the ones that you you don't want to hear just basically bend the pattern but I want to play with this one and I obviously need to increase my bar length there which is only on one so we'll do this for I don't know <clears throat> for eight bars and we can do yeah maximum of eight bars so we're gonna do four bars okay Of course, we can then and so on and so forth. Like to submit, record that bit just so you get a clue.
Swing. There you go guys and that's how you do it it's that easy but so you make sure your midi is hooked up there i didn't have to make any adjustments uh, inside the settings for uh, uh setting up the midi there is for bluetooth midi so you can do turn on bluetooth okay um but you can right there's no i have no bluetooth devices but you can if you have bluetooth devices you can do bluetooth midi as well so there you go and then you can add up to i think you can add about eight eight tracks here uh, probably and then you but yeah, I think you can also probably yep you can play your your drums midi as well it's gonna make a lot of people very very happy okay guys there you go there's a quick look at the fact that you can now use midi at your midi keyboard or controller or what have you be it Bluetooth or, or plugged in via the Lightning, uh, to, to play Groovebox, which opens Groovebox up to a whole new audience and a whole new way of making music. It's very, very, very cool. And, of course, these guys are on it proper. They update very regularly, so you're always getting the latest stuff. Okay, guys, please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel and consider becoming a Patreon. That's very, very cool. Uh, I'll see you guys later.